so here first we have to check the building height ratio for which we require the total height of the building and the width of the building so you can see the elevation pick so as to understand the width which we would be considering the elevation and then the corresponding plan so we have to take the uh, pick as reference so as to uh, decide the width value of the width that you have to go for Uh, let us go to define load patterns, wind load, modify lateral load. Okay. Okay. We can go to define load cases. And here you can see wind. Then modify showcase. And here you see the load case type mass source. Use preset P delta settings. Uh, this is what you get uh, as a default selection. For OK, for OK. So get back to the stable side. So the the total height of the structure which is coming out to be 69 meters as i had discussed before it is a 23 story building with a uniform story height of 3 meters 23 into 3 gives you a value of 69 meters and the width is 18 meters and uh, uh, the h by w value gives 3.83 and that will fall in the category of h by w equal to uh, you can see this category 3 by 2 which is 1.5 so in the zone of 1.5 to 6 because the h by w that we calculated is coming to be 3.83 so it will come here and then l by w uh, so we know that the symmetric plan is going to be 1. So we will go for the range of 1 to 1.5. And uh, you can see here 0 degrees and 90 degrees. So we will uh, go for these options. Point uh, eight. Minus 0.25 minus 0.8 minus 0.8. So go to the story and uh, select. So we, uh, we will go to this uh, tab and we will go to view, set elevation view. So using this plan as the elevation, we want to go for a section along A. So apply. So uh, you can see this elevation which has come up. So on selecting the uh, section along A, this uh, elevation has come up.
now we have the all stories selected so when uh now we'll go to select we have to select these shelves of the auto cladding go to select deselect all uh, we have to select the shelves again we will select one shell and since all storage option is selected Uh, the shelves, uh, the uh, uh, peripheral shell of all the stories will be selected. Yes. So you can see forty six shelves. One, two, three. Uh, so you can see forty six shelves being selected. Then go to uh, assign. Shell load and go for wind pressure coefficient. So uh, this is towards the windward side. As you can see here, uh, we are going for a theta equal to zero, and we are going for uh, this set of values. Sorry, we are going to go for, uh, we are having H by W in the range of 1.5 to 6 and L by W 1 to 3 by 2 and we are going to go for this set of values. Theta is equal to 0. So, this side is going to be the windward side because we are going to go for coefficients corresponding to theta is equal to 0. So, we will put the value of plus 0.8. On one side and minus 0.25 on the other side. So we will put value of plus 0.8 and it is windward. We place existing load apply. And go for OK. Now we will go for view. Now we will go for view and set plan view. And we will select any random plan. Apply. Okay. Then uh, we will go for a section along D so as to apply the other shell coefficient. So we will go for view. We will go to set elevation view. We'll go to D. 